Okay, um, this one should be uh, should be fairly short and sweet. Um, we started talking about unemployment, um, and therefore, well, there should be in the end um, four videos um, on unemployment. Uh, the one I'm going to talk about now um, is going to be how we measure it, which is you know, basically you know, pretty straightforward. Um, I'll then look at why unemployment is costly, um, what the causes of unemployment are, which you know that will take uh, that one that a bit longer, and then you know, we'll look at various possible solutions. Um, if it's about how unemployment is measured, um, there, there, in the UK there are two, broadly two different ways of doing it. Um, one is the internationally agreed labour force survey. Um, that's defined as um, anybody who has um, been looking for work um, within the last month, um, obviously hasn't found a job um, and is available to start um, within, the, within the next two weeks. Um, or alternatively, they've got a job that they're that they're ready to start but haven't started yet. Um, so the definition um, the definition is here on um, on superb handout. Uh, there we go. Um, superb handout um, number one. Yeah. So as it says there, without a job, want a job, actively sought work. Yeah. Available to start within the next two weeks, or they haven't got one, but they have found a job but they haven't started yet. So. That's yeah. That that's all fine. I mean, and, and that survey, um, that survey is pretty big. Yeah. So I mean, we you know there there are obvious problems with um, with with survey survey methodology. Yeah. But um, the survey um, every it, it, on a, on a rolling basis um, over over three months. Yeah. So it's not you know it's not kind of um, you know January the first we do it, then March the first we do it. We do it on a rolling basis over three months. Um, so you know, so every month they're they're asking households um, and the, the questions that we just identified. Um, there are forty thousand households that are asked, um, and um, covering um, about a hundred thousand people. So as surveys uh, and it's and it's adjusted to try and make sure that it's not not all you know kind of left-handed redheads or whatever. Um, so so it's stratified, um, and so that's pretty reliable. Yeah, um, it's. Also internationally com comparable, yeah. So when you're looking across, when you're looking across, you know, um, labour force survey unemployment figures, and um, this is um, the International Labour Organization definition or ILO, um, you can, you know, you can say, well, look, basically different countries are measuring this in the in the same way. Um, so it's, it's it's quite useful. Um, but that's not the that's not the only way. Um, that unemployment has been measured. Um, if we look at, yeah, um, if we look at the, you know, if we look at um, this one, yeah, um, so this is the this is the BBC. Well, no, this means the um, it's published by the um, the ONS, the Office of National Statistics. Yeah, um, then we can see that actually there are two different measures. The orange line um, is the um, labour force survey, um, which um, figures out yesterday. Um, Show is now down to um, just under under two million for the first time in a while. Um, the other one is the is the job seekers allowance, um, also known as um, the claimant count. And as you can see, on our well, it you know towards you know, towards uh, wrong hand <laughs> um, towards uh, towards the end, yeah, there, there are significant differences here. Um, ugh, earlier on, <laughs> so hard. Um, earlier on, there we go. And yeah, um, actually, they're much more similar. And indeed, here. Actually, you know, back in you know, kind of mid nineteen ninety two, um, the claimant count uh, measure is actually higher than the uh, the labour force survey count. So that's a bit odd. Um, the claimant count measure, then, yeah, the second one counts. Guess what? Um, you know, claimants. Um, at the moment, um, that's measuring um, people who are claiming the, the job seekers allowance. Yeah, but the job seekers allowance hasn't always existed. Yeah, it's been called lots of things down the time, uh, down down the years, unemployment benefit, blah 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 blah. blah. Um, the definition of it, as definition of, of what this measure is, has changed dozens and dozens of times. Particularly in the nineteen eighties, uh, Margaret Thatcher was particularly keen to change the definition of unemployment um, on this measure, so they say, <laughs> so that it looked lower. I mean, during during the mid eighties, on, on that measure, um, unemployment, even even on the government's figures, hit uh, I don't know over, over three and a half million at one point. Yeah, but um, a lot of people were saying that in reality, if you if you'd done this on a consistent basis compared with the nineteen seventies, it's probably more like about four and a half million. 
Um, when they look at those figures, they try and adjust, they, they try and adjust it for current methodology. Yeah, but even so, it's yeah, it's hard because you weren't always collecting figures in the same way. Um, so try, trying to apply you know, eligibility criteria looking back is quite hard. So so it, it's not it's not necessarily the the world's most reliable. Um, nevertheless, it gives you it, it tells you something. Um, yeah, it tells you the well, tells you the number of people claiming JSA. I mean, it's it, it's it's a figure. But as you can see, there were. Um, um, there were significant differences. Um, there were significant differences between between those two. Yeah. Um, usually, as we saw towards the end, um, the claimant count figure. Um, I'm going to use the wrong hand, so I'm not going to point. Um, <laughs> ah, no, there we go. Um, the claimant count figure um, is generally much lower than the labour force survey figure, and, the, and I think I think we can see why that's likely to be because it's possible. It, it's very possible um, to be unemployed. Without being eligible for the job seekers allowance, um, therefore, when you come along, when the survey people come along and say, you know, "Have you been looking for work in the last four weeks? Are you available to start in the next two weeks?" You'll say yes, but you're still not eligible to claim unemployment benefits. So there's a variety of reasons that that, that might be true. Um, one is that um, after six months, the job seekers allowance becomes what's called means tested. Which means that if your income or your household income or your assets, or I mean, there are a variety of criteria, but basically you've got too much money, you are no longer eligible. You, you can no longer claim job seekers allowance. Therefore, there's not much point in you know, turning up to, to sign on. You're not going to get any money. Um, that would be true for me, for example, if I lost my job, if Dove Brooks decided that that's that tomorrow, bye bye, Simon. Um, then. For six months, um, I could claim job seekers allowance, roughly speaking. But after that, they'd say, you know, get lost, Simon. Your wife earns too much money. You know, that's it. So I would be unemployed, unemployed on the labour force survey measure because when they came along and surveyed me, I'd say, mm, yeah, I haven't got a job. Um, but I wouldn't be claiming job seekers allowance. GSA also excludes sixteen and seventeen year olds. So whereas the labour force survey is everybody over the age of sixteen. JSA isn't usually um, available to 16 or 17 year olds. Likewise, the JSA also excludes pensioners on the basis that they're claiming a pension, so they're not having JSA. Whereas the Labour Force survey is it's anybody over the age of 16 who is available and willing to work but unable to unable to find a job. So yeah, um, and yeah, so so yeah, so so therefore. Yeah, and um, those two figures um, are going to differ. Often, as, as we saw, um, the JSA is going to be uh, the JSA or the claimant count figure is going to be lower than the labour force survey. However, it can be the other way around. There are circumstances in which I might be claiming JSA, but won't count as unemployed on the labour force survey measure. The most obvious of these is that um, the JSA you, you can still claim JSA um, if you're working a few hours a week. In theory. If you're working part time, even up to about even up to about sixteen hours a week, um, it might still be possible to to be claiming JSA. Certainly, if you're just working two or three hours a week, you're low income, you know, doing you know, doing a low paying job, you're not going to lose your eligibility for job seekers allowance, and um, because otherwise that, that would create a huge deterrent for anybody to even try and get some sort of part time work. Therefore, you'd still be measured as receiving the JSA. So you'd still be, you know, on the on, on the figures over there, you'd still be kind of, yeah, tick, yeah, um, unemployed on the uh, on the claimant count definition. When the Labour Force survey people come along and say, have you worked in the last four weeks? You go, yeah, yeah, I had a part-time job. And they'd say, right, you're not unemployed. But usually, as we saw, you know, the mass of 16 and 17 year olds, pensioners looking for work, you know, people who aren't eligible because their household income is too high, they by far and away outweigh the small number of people you know, who are doing maybe a bit of part time work, you know, um, but still claiming, uh, still claiming, um, still claiming JSA. Um, I mean, and obviously, yeah, another reason, um, another reason is that um, you might be, yeah, you, know, you might be claiming JSA and working, of course, yeah. So hence, hence fraud, yeah. Um, I think I told you about my, um, yeah, when I was when I was a lot younger, my 
idiot friend who um, was <laughs> who was claiming JSA but working as a uh, working as a, a window cleaner um, until uh, until he went and uh, cleaned the windows of the unemployment benefit office. <laughs> um, but but he would have been he would have been unemployed on the uh, on the claimant count measure. Uh, sorry, I mean unemployed on um, on the um, yeah on the claimant count measure, but obviously not on the on the labour force survey. Anyway, that's it basically. Um, I don't think that's particularly difficult. Um,